Hi, Cole Riccio. I moved to North Carolina about nine years ago and attended Warren Wilson College. And as part of their curriculum, I had to join Blacksmith Group. After graduation, I spent some time working in different shops across the country, but eventually moved back to North Carolina to go to Penland School of Crafts. At Penland, I met my partner, Stormy Burns, and we eventually moved to Bakersfield together in this past September. And I've been setting up my shop since. This building used to be the old PNR grocery for the wing community, and this wing of the building was actually the feed and seed section. And when we moved in in September, there was a lot of the feed and seed still remaining. So it was really interesting to learn part of the history of the shop. So here are my forges. I am spoiled enough to have three different forges. Um, I have two different gas forges made by the NC Tool Company. I really like these forges. This one's probably about 20 years old. And something that I've really enjoyed about these forges is their tables are on wheels. So I can pull this forge anywhere it needs to be in the shop if I need to do some jig work on the layout table and it can roll over there very easily. Um, one thing that cannot move is my coal forge. It's kind of attached to the side of the building and I think it's okay. It's nice to have a really sturdy forge. You know it's not going to go anywhere. And I've used a lot of different coal forges and I found that this has been one of my favorite designs, having a really big table I can lay out plenty of fuel and materials, and I really like how my walls are very low, so when I have material to pass through, it goes straight through. I don't have to go at a weird angle or anything like that. So this is one of my favorite blacksmithing tools. It's called the fly press. It's a Denby number two. The two means it uses two tons of force every time you swing your arm down, and it's one of my favorite tools for bending and punching. It can really be an extremely effective tool in the blacksmith shop. So this is my tire hammer. I built it about two years ago at a workshop in Virginia. Um, I really enjoy having an anvil right here. So if I need to straighten a piece or do a correctional forging, I can go very quickly from the tire hammer to the anvil and then back to the forge, you can see. I really only need to take about one step to get from the forge to the power hammer. So it's nice to keep everything really close. And the machine's really served me well. It's got a 75 pound ram, the anvil is 800 pounds and the whole machine weighs about 1300. So it's easy to move around. Um, it was difficult to get in the building, but once we got it in, it was, you know, it only takes two people to stand it up. So it's nice to have a lightweight machine, but still packs a punch. This is a French anvil cast in 1930. It weighs about 250 pounds. Um, it's been my main anvil for probably the past four years. I've used a lot of different anvils and I really haven't found one that I've enjoyed more than this. So one reason I really like this stand is because it offers better ergonomics when you're working. I don't have to stand back because there's a stump in the way. I can be standing next to the anvil and be directly hammering onto it. And it's not bolted down to the stand at all. The stand only weighs about 70 pounds, but because there's a bead of silicon between the anvil and the stand, there's almost no ring. You'd expect a cast anvil especially to be very noisy, and it is, but when it's on this stand, it's almost deadened completely. 